dynamo theory states that the Coriolis effect causes these flows of iron to not rise and fall as straight lines, but as spirals. The spinning of the earth causes them to gently be spun in turn, creating giant springs. As each segment of each spring is creating a magnetic field in a circle around it, the net result is that the inside of these springs creates a solid, unified field that all moves in the same direction upwards, while the outside brings that magnetic field looping back down again and back in to the bottom of the coil. In short, it creates the well-known magnetic dipole north and south that we see today. However, if there's anything that you should take away from this, it's that this process is precarious, as it is based on a lot of liquid iron essentially just sloshing around, which is not very consistent. Our magnetic field thus has little fluctuations and wobbles all the time. We see this in different ways, but a big one is that our North Pole is constantly moving. Since scientists began keeping track of it in 1831, the North Pole has gradually shifted about 1,100 kilometers, leaving its original location in Canada and moving up towards Siberia. Its rate of motion is also increasing, going from 16 kilometers a year to roughly 55 kilometers a year. 